Lots of Disney panels coming to Comic-Con. That and more on This Week in Disney. Hey everyone, it's Max and welcome to This Week in Disney where I give you all the Disney news from the past week. And uh, guys, Comic-Con is next week. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm a little under the weather right now. Good timing though because I don't want to get under the weather while I'm at Comic-Con. So um, now is fine. But let me tell you what's coming to Comic-Con next week, uh, Disney-wise. So there's actually a bunch of different uh, Disney panels each day of Comic-Con, and I wanted to kind of go through uh, some of the ones that I think are interesting, and um, maybe I will see you there. So on Thursday, the first day of Comic-Con, there is a Alice in Wonderland uh, video effects panel. That sounds really interesting. There's also a Dynamic World of Disney Comics panel. Interesting. The most interesting one to me, I think, um, is it's called Moana Art of Story. And at this one, uh, I think we're going to be getting uh, a nice little preview of what's to come in a few months when Moana comes out. Ron Clements and John Musker will be there, and uh, with along with a panel of uh, artists from the movie. So uh, that's really exciting. Uh, that's on Thursday. So. I hope to be there. I don't know what the line situation is going to be like, but uh, I'm going to try. Also that day is Captain America's 75th anniversary and Marvel has another panel uh, that evening for Luke Cage. Uh, Marvel's Luke Cage is coming to Netflix, so you'll get your first uh, little look at that. On Friday, there's lots of Star Wars panels, actually. Uh, they've got one called Star Wars The Science Awakens. Uh, they've got a Star Wars publishing panel, a Star Wars Hasbro panel where they'll talk about the toys. Uh, there's lots of things to see. If you're into screenwriting, you might want to check out the Captain America screenwriting Q&A. It's a, a Civil War screenwriting Q&A. Sounds really cool. Uh, Star Wars Collectibles panel is that day too. There's so much going on! There's also something really neat. Cartoon Legends Speak. Uh, diversity in the History of Animation. And that, this one sounds really, really cool. I think I might go to that one. There's also a Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. panel later that day. Might go to that. And then... There's a Beauty and the Beast 25th anniversary panel too. Whoa! They jam-packed stuff with Disney this year. I guess since D23 isn't this year, they're putting some stuff here. It's really cool. Then on Saturday, uh, there is the Once Upon a Time panel. That'll be a gigantic one. Uh, so that one you gotta wait in line, I'm sure. There's also a Marvel animation panel uh, in the afternoon that day. Also very cool. Uh, Disney XD's got a couple of panels. There's a Hasbro Marvel panel. Uh, there is the the Marvel uh, Studios Gigantic Hall H panel where you'll get a look into all of the upcoming things in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Obviously, Hall H is you know the big the big room, so uh, that'll be really really crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to get into that. <laughs> and then it all ends on Sunday. Uh, Sunday there is a farewell to Gravity Falls panel. So if you've been a Gravity Falls fan, you get to go uh, say bye, which is really nice. Uh, there's also something cool called uh, How to Build Your Own R2-D2, if <laughs> you ever wanted to know that. Really neat. Um, and then there's another thing called Disney Pin Trading and Collecting a Whole New Online World. Uh, and I guess that'll explore sort of how pin trading and, and, and collecting is evolving now with uh, online. So. As I said, there's a ton, and then there's a ton of non-Disney stuff as well, so um, it could be a very busy Comic-Con. Uh, so I, I, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to go to yet. Uh, it kind of depends on my own schedule when I'm there, but uh, I'll be down there in San Diego, so if you're there, say hi. Let me tell you a couple of parks uh, news tidbits. Uh, Halloween tickets for Mickey's Halloween Party in uh, Disney World, Disneyland, are gonna go on sale next week. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, also, the former Pizza Planet restaurant is now reopening as uh, Pizza Rizzo, and, and uh, you'll notice that that is a Muppets uh, character. So that's really cool, Rizzo the Rat. Uh, gonna have his own pizzeria, that's really neat. So that'll open up, uh, I guess, uh, sometime this fall in uh, Hollywood Studios. Also, I wanna show you this, guys. Uh, this is a Lego set of Cinderella's Castle, which I want so bad. Uh, Wow, this just looks so amazing and I want it, um, but that price tag is not something that I <laughs> really uh, enjoy. But, um, I, 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 gosh, I don't know, man. 
I might have to get that. I don't know. All right, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, that is your news for this week in Disney, mostly about Comic-Con and what's to come. Um, what are you most excited about of the panels that I uh, just told you about? Uh, what do you want me to go to? Are you going? Let me know if you will be at San Diego Comic-Con this coming week, and uh, maybe I will see you there in San Diego. I love San Diego. I was just there for the All-Star game. It was amazing. Um, so, yeah, cool. All right, guys, uh, like, subscribe. I'm going to go get some rest so I can be all healthy and ready for Comic-Con. Have a magical day, everyone. Bye. Mr. Cheesy Pop.